Thank you for your purchase of our 1920 stand card. First inspect the carton for any external damage. Report any visible damage to the shipping carrier right away. Carefully open the box and remove all parts. Be sure you have the assembly instructions and parts list. Check your parts against the list and be sure you have everything you need for the assembly. Be certain you have the necessary tools on hand as described in the parts list. A ratchet and deep sockets in the appropriate sizes will work best. Never tighten bolts all the way down until you've completed the assembly process. Just snug them down. Be sure all lock washers are installed on the nut side of the connection. It is helpful to have a bowl or container in your work area to hold small parts. First, take the two large axle bolts and washers and insert them in the 6 inch wheels with a washer on each side of the wheel. Attach the wheels to the axles with the axle bolts. Be careful not to over tighten. The wheels should spin freely. Assemble the end frame side to the end frame axle with the provided bolts. Install handles onto the handle axle with ends facing away from each other using the four provided nuts and bolts in the pre-drilled holes. Next, install the bottom rails to the handle sides. It is helpful to have the handle sides lying flat and to have a helper support the bottom rails while they are being attached. With the bottom rails attached, turn the assembly upright. Next, mount the handle connector to the handles and attach the top rails with the nuts bolts and washers provided. Note that the nuts on the top bolts go to the outside and the nuts on the bottom bolts are on the inside. Attach the end frame to the bottom rails. Be sure that the horizontal tabs on the end frame extend toward the handle end. There is a small threaded stud protruding from the bottom of each bottom rail. These studs go through the hole in the tab and are secured with the provided small nuts and washers. After the bottom rails are attached, the end frame is secured to the top rails with two threaded studs on each side. Now, feel free to securely tighten all connectors and proceed to the next step. Your Manhasset Model 1920 short stand cart comes equipped with a polyethylene guard to protect the horizontal long rails. It's easier to install them after the cart is assembled. There are two different sets of polyethylene rail guards with your cart. The guard with the notched sections on the end are fitted over the top horizontal rails with the notched end away from the handle end. The guards with the notched sections located eight and one half inches from the end are fitted over the lower horizontal rails with the cutout notched end away from the handle end. On both upper and lower rails, the guards are installed so that the notched areas line up and cover where the flathead bolts are welded to the rail square tubing. The rail guards are triangular in shape prior to the installation. The guards are separated and pushed over the horizontal rails, working from one end to the other. Once completely and properly installed, the rails will stay securely in place.